Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is John Coffey, and I am the Unpaved Explorer. So let me ask you a question. Do you know how to carve a rotisserie chicken? Believe it or not, some people are intimidated by cutting a rotisserie chicken. And so, if your friends are like my friends, they'll judge you by how you carve your rotisserie chicken. And so, rotisserie chickens are pretty cheap. Uh, you could get them at Walmart for $4.89. This one here, I got at Drug Mart uh, for uh, $6.99. And so, so what you're gonna need is a carving board, a knife and a platter and so uh, I'm gonna cut this rotisserie chicken uh, for meals for later in the week so one thing you want to do is you want to make sure your chicken is well rusted and cooled that we don't lo lose any of the juices and you don't burn your hand so the first thing I want to do is make sure my knife is sharp and the first thing you want to start cutting off are the legs. So you want to take the leg and pull it away from the rest of the chicken and slowly slice between the, the leg and the main body of the chicken. Now you get the thigh and the leg. Now you could cut in between the thigh and the leg, but I like to keep the leg and the, and the thigh connected together. On this one, I'll show you how to cut and separate the thigh and the leg. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the this side, this leg off of the chicken. And same thing, you pull the leg away from the main body of the chicken then so you got the leg and the thigh and so what you want to do, you can either do either one. You can pull apart the thigh and the leg to expose the joint. And you just cut between the joint of the leg and the thigh. So you got the drumstick and the thigh. I'll go ahead and separ uh, separate this one too. So I'm gonna cut the leg separate it from the thigh. You go find the joint and cut the joint. And this one you got a leg and a thigh. Now the wings of this rotisserie chicken, the, the wing actually broke off when I pulled the chicken out of the container. So I'll just pull the broken wing off. So I just got the wing tip and the wing, the flat. And on this one, it was the flat and the wing tip. See here. Now I'm going to split the chicken. Take the top and find the center and go just to the right of center. 
and you cut the skin. And then you slowly pull the chicken as you slide the knife down that bone, that center bone. Try to get as much of the meat off of there as you can. There's one breast. You do the same thing on this side. You go to the other side of the bone and you slowly strip the meat off of the bone. That's two uh, chicken breasts. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, uh, the wing drumsticks. You cut at the joint. Then the other drumstick, wing drumstick. These are really small. Now there's the oysters, which is the best part of the chicken. What you want to do is peel away the skin locate the oysters right there and right there take your knife or your thumb and just pull the oyster they're called chicken oysters but they're not really oysters they just look like an oyster but that is the best part of the chicken they're like little nuggets of flavor right there so I got two oysters, two leg drumsticks, two thighs, two wings, two breasts. Now this is the carcass. Now you save the carcass and then you peel all the excess meat off of the carcass for your soups. And then what you'll do is you'll uh, boil your carcass so that you can make chicken broth and uh, chicken bone broth and so for presentation purposes if you want you could take your chicken breasts and you want to cut across the grain of the breast some people they carve the lengthwise there's no right or wrong way of doing it but the chicken falls apart better if you cut across the breast. So let me move this over. You just cut on a little angle. I'll do the other one. So 
So I'll show you the platter. One moment, let me wash my hands real quick. So here's here's the platter. So you have a thigh, a leg, a leg, a thigh, your wings, and your chicken breasts. Well, I hope you learned how I carve a rotisserie chicken. In my opinion, rotisserie chickens from the store is a good value and they're really delicious. So uh, if you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions, please place them in the comment section below. As always, all questions, all comments are welcome. Again, my name is John Coffey. I'm the Unpaved Explorer and I'm out of here. You take care and you keep exploring the outdoors and I'll catch you on the next exploration. I'm out of here.